Hi and welcome, my name is Tolent and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video we're going to look at using the delete key on your keyboard in order to delete one character at a time to the right of your cursor. So with that, let's get started. As we discussed in the last video, if you have a backspace key on your keyboard, when you use that key, it will generally delete one character at a time moving in the leftwards direction. If instead you want to delete one character at a time moving in the rightwards direction, you would press the delete key. Again, there's a slight nuance here in that exit out of here. If we want to delete the T and E in text, we would press the backspace. And then if we want to delete the X and T of that remaining word, we would press the delete key. What's really useful is you may click into a cell. So maybe we click in here and we want to delete the word year end. Now, if we were to only use the backspace key, we would have to then use our cursor and click here and delete that. Now, if we were to only use the delete key and we had clicked into our cell, we would delete that and then have to scroll over and delete that. However, by knowing that we can use either the, the backspace key or the delete key, we could press the delete key and then the, also the backspace key. I guess that the order would be backspace key and then delete key. It doesn't really matter. But what's really cool is you can use the keyboard shortcuts that we learned earlier of control shift left arrow, backspace, control shift right arrow, delete, and it would automatically delete those so that you now have the word total. So again, there's a slight nuance between using the keyboard shortcut, or rather the keyboard key of backspace or delete, but I find that personally it's useful to know, to know both of these individual keys and how to use them within Excel. With that in mind, in our next video, we'll look at, I think, a pretty useful keyboard shortcut, that of Alt-Enter, which will allow you to start a new line within the same cell. So check that out in our next video, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.